the victory we have just recorded in this just concluded election is a very sweet one. It is sweet in the sense that this is a zone that people like to call the minority. That is Kogi Central. We are called the minority of Kogi State. And here we have come, we have contested. Our people had so much faith in the then candidate, now the governor elect. People, Ibera people from far and, and near, across the country, and even in the diaspora, came in their numbers to come and cast the vote for their preferred candidate. It is not because it is from our zone. It is because our people at this time want to prove a point, a point that there is this particular segment of, of, uh, of the state that has this uh, 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 traditional uh, inheritance of leadership and governance in Kogi State. That is why they came that much. And uh, I also uh, commend the people of Kogi West for their very large turnout to vote. And I also want to use this opportunity again to thank even the, the numbers that came out from Kogi East. So I want to say categorically that it is God's design and it came to pass. We are all happy. My advice, I will pick my advice from uh, the remark that our, our governor elect gave yesterday while receiving the, the INEC document of victory. He said, and I quote, my people across Kogi State, my fellow contestant, this is our state. We have no other state except Kogi. Let us come together to give good leadership to our people. You are all welcome. We have to sit on the round table to discuss how we can take the state for, uh, to the next level. So this is what exactly what our governor-elect had remarked yesterday. So I want to also, you know, speak on that note that Kogi is for all of us. When a good governance is given, it is not going to be segmental. It's going to be across the state, the ethnic groups and, and the, the, all the tribes of the state. So that is why uh, since our governor-elect had already put the idea on the table, I want to use the opportunity to call on all the contestants, the aggrieved, and even the people that contested and the people that are from the various zones of the state to come together and give their own ideas. He has said it, that he cannot do this alone. So since he had extended this hand of friendship to, to, to these people, I want to encourage them to key into this government so that our people can be happy at the end of the day. My utmost joy in the emergence of uh, Alahaji Ahmed Usman Ododo is enormous. And uh, the major of it is the fact that Ahmed Ododo is a system person. He had started this government or, or since about eight years ago with Alahaji Ahayabelo. He had seen the legacy that uh, our outgoing governor is leaving behind. And he is determined to you know, work on it, to improve on all that our governor has done. This is particularly in the area of security. Security, we talk of health care, and we talk of infrastructure. Uh, he is already aware of, of how long and the extent that His, His Excellency Elijah Ayabelo has gone, and he's going to develop on it. I want to encourage him to do as he had promised us. And uh, finally, I want to also advise him and urge him to look in the area of women. 
the Abilo had left that legacy again, I want to encourage him to develop on it. Our 35 uh, percent derivative, I mean, Yabelo was able to make even up to 38 before his, the end of his tenure. I am I'm looking forward to having 40 percent in this present administration. I know Ododo, he is somebody that is humane, humble, and caring for the people. He is going to do that and do more. You know, because of the, of the kind of noise we have had before the election, it is not because Togi State is not peaceful, but people had really ma uh, magnified uh, 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 the issue, I mean, fear, uh, the issue of fear and concern before the election, because some certain people who believe power belongs to them alone were given a lot of threat that there will be no peace, they will be violent if they are not allowed to be the governor. But I don't know how one would have contested, I mean, being a governor without contesting. And it is the will of people that had, um, that had come to play here. So because of that noise that had been made before the election, that was, a, that, that was why the federal government had so much concern and had to deploy so many uh, security agents to the state for the election. But they have come to see that there was really no need for that because the election was quite uh, uh, very peaceful. And uh, I was even, I, I could remember at my polling unit when some security agent came to me, Haji, how do you see the election? I said it is peaceful as you can see. So they really had nothing much to do because there was no cause for all that. We thank God security situation in Kogi State generally has so improved and uh, it is a, a, a good one for all of us. I want to use this medium to send a message across to the three ethnic groups and the three zones of Kogi State. I want to thank them for all their support for this victory to have come to pass. I want to also urge them to pray for our leaders because if we don't pray for them and they make mistake, it is we, the electorate, it is we, the masses, that suffer the effect. That is the reason why we have to give all the support we can give so that our incoming governor will succeed in all his uh, uh, campaign uh, promises.